That's where we're going to be having all the uh, all of our partnerships and everything. I mean, the International Women's Air and Space Museum is going to be here. Their activity is they're going to have kids building helicopters. We are going to have some grays here that are making little wooden soldiers with children. There's going to be trivia. There's going to be scavenger hunts. Every branch of the military is going to be being represented. There is going to be uh, the organ. I think they're bringing in four different artists in order to play it. Uh, in order to keep that going. The Cleveland Youth Orchestra Brass Ensemble is going to be here. We are also trying to focus on the, the future, which is the, the kids, and making it also a family-oriented event, which is what makes it so much different than the event that we had five years ago. For 125th, we're basically trying to reintroduce Cleveland's downtown castle to Cleveland. We're tired of being, uh, or we no longer want to be the best kept secret, and we're really trying to get everybody involved. Uh, but the organ is like in the middle of the floor. It raises up in the air on hydraulics and everything. Okay. And then all around the side are going to be, there's like 20 organizations that are coming in um, to have different tables and whatnot and try to uh, just make sure that there's you know something to talk about for everyone. Um, it wasn't a museum to them, so they would just come back and put things on the wall and it would stay. So I don't know who stuffed the deer, but... The, the first room is actually called the punch bowl room, okay. uh, where they used to have their punch bowls, or, or artillery punch is what they would have referred to it as. The far room is actually the pioneer room, which was where the guys with the axe and the leather apron, and if you'd served in the Civil War, they were allowed in there, nobody else. However, if they invited you in, you were allowed to walk in there, but you were never allowed to sit down. But they're going to have war bonds up here? Yes, the uh, Learning Center Money Museum is donated as their war bond exhibit for the event. So it's going to be up here. The brickwork is unique because of the thin joints. I mean, modern joints are three eighths to a half inch. These are more like an eighth inch. Uh -huh. So it's less chance of being affected by the weather. And they built it like a fort. That's why there is iron grillage on all the first floor windows. It would be very hard to break into the armory. Now, when they built this building, the War of 1812 wasn't that far in our rearview mirror, okay. so they realized that not only were they the overseeing force of Cleveland, but there is a good chance they're also going to be the first defenders of the United States. And uh, if you went all the way up in the turret, at the top of the turret, you would be seeing far into Lake Erie to see if we were being invaded from, not necessarily by Canadians, but definitely from Canada at mm -hmm. the time. Uh, so how does, it, how does it feel walking around this building um, to you guys? You know the history. You know. I grew up here. Pardon? I grew up here. Okay. I mean, I've, I Grandpa was a member. I've been running around here. I probably used to crawl in the cannon, and now I got to yell at kids to get off the cannon. <laughs> it's amazing, even as long as both of us have been here, you still find something new in one of the photographs, in one of the artifacts. If you go in the back room and you're working with people, you'll find something. What would you like people to gain from their experience in coming here? To breach the castle and have fun and just remember that Ameri we are America's oldest independent armory. And that's a pretty big feather in Cleveland's cap. And I think that's the biggest thing that we want people to take away about downtown, Cleveland's downtown castle is that we're unique and we are working hard to preserve uh, the history and the memories of what these men did and what they fought for.